Hello, and welcome to the ATIT 7 Science Course. I'm very excited you're here and have entrusted in me to help support you in your nursing journey. In this course, we are going to walk through step-by-step -step everything that you need to know to take the ATIT 7 science portion. And by the end of this course, we will have covered all of the information that you need to know for the exam. So let's get into it. So this course is going to consist of 25 modules that are going to break down according to the different sections of the ATIT 7 science portion. So we're going to cover anatomy and physiology, biology, chemistry, and scientific reasoning. Each module will consist of a lecture, which will be very similar to this video, which will have different slides and diagrams and things, and we'll walk through step by step all of the information for that lecture. You'll also get a printout of the PowerPoint slides. These will come in two formats. So you will get the actual slides that fill like a whole page. So if you want to pull those up on your iPad or on your computer, you can do that. And then there's also a printable version that is a three slide with a note section so that if you want to print them out and take notes, you can do that as well. Each module will then have a quiz to test you on the information that is in the slides. So if you understand what is in the slides, you should do well in the quiz, and this will prep you for actually taking the ATIT science section. Also, the quizzes are going to consist of a minimum of 10 questions, so you're actually getting over 250 practice problems. And there'll also be supplemental activities for most of the modules. There's a couple that don't have supplemental activities, but these will be to help practice things like hotspot questions, which we're going to go over what those are, but you know, they may be diagrams, fill in the blanks, things like that to help give you some practice on the different topics that we are going to cover. So, the ATIT 7 science section consists of 18 questions in human anatomy and physiology, 9 questions in biology, 8 questions in chemistry, and 9 questions in scientific reasoning. The total amount of questions you will take when you take the ATIT 7 science section is 50, but only 44 will count towards your score because there are 6 unscored questions, and these typically are questions that they are testing out to put on future exams. And the time limit is going to be 60 minutes, so you can think that you have roughly a little over a minute per question. So let's go over the types of questions that you will see on the exam. So you're going to have your basic multiple choice question where you have a question and you have four or five answers and you choose which one is the correct answer. You will then also have alternative items. There are four types. So we have multiple select items, also known as select all that apply. We have a supply the answer question. So this will be like a blank question, like you'll have a question with a blank box where you write in the answer. We'll have hotspot items where you will point out a specific hotspot, and we'll have an ordered response type of question. So let's go over those. So your multiple select items, drag me over, uh, there, these will be presented with a list of four or more possible answers to a question, and more than one may be correct. There will be a note on these questions that say select all that apply. And to answer the questions correctly, you have to select all the answers. There's no partial credit. So we have over here just like a sample question. So ATIT 7 science section includes select all that apply. So we know it does include human anatomy and physiology. It does include biology, chemistry, and scientific reasoning. So you would select all of these. A great technique for select all that apply questions is make it a true or false question. So we would look at this and be like, ATIT science section includes human anatomy and physiology, true or false. If it's true, we check it off. If it's false, we leave it blank. And same with the rest of the answers. So that is a good technique to use when answering multiple select items. Then we have a supply the answer items. So these questions require you to provide the answer or fill in the blank. 
could be text or numerical values. So we can just see here 10 times 3, we would write 30 in the box and then move on to the next question. So now this is called a hotspot item. Let's move me over here. So for hotspot items, it's going to include an image with two to five clickable areas. And you're required to click on the area that the image identified as the correct response. So where would you find the aortic valve? So we have our four hotspots here. And after you take this course, or maybe you already know, but the answer would be right here is the aortic valve. So this would be where we click this purple, and that would be how we answer the hotspot question. Then we have an ordered response item. For ordered response items, these questions require you to place a set of response options in the correct order. You drag between four to six response options from a box on the left, which would be here, to a box on the right. And these questions um, have to be answered in the correct order. There's no partial credit. So you're going to get a list and this is your unordered side. So in what order does the blood flow through the heart once it leaves the lungs? Here are our unordered responses and then we would drag and drop them into the correct order. And that is the end of the introductory video, so you can move on to Module 1. I'll see you there. Bye.